hear me in the back or middle? Um, okay, so you've been through an introduction to the 3.0 search interface and Dante's example. So now I'm going to go through sources of help and support that when you get home and you want to do your own searches, these may help you in finding the search, conducting the search, and understanding the results you get. So we have a number of sources of help. We have um, tutorials such as what we've seen this morning. We have the data fields dictionary, which describes all the data fields that we can enter data from the papers. And we have a curation manual um, that describes the process by which we curate. I'll also show you the uh, IEDD Solution Center. This is a collection of all the re reference material, not only related to searches, but also to the tools, to browser issues as you ran into, um, links to the meta analysis, links to references, a lot of different uh, information. And then um, I'll show you all the places that you can link in to provide help requests and feedback. And, uh, you know, this is where you can give us additional um, feedback from the media if you don't if you come up with things after we ask you for feedback. And lastly, I'll talk about what your options are for exporting the complete database with parts thereof and query them with your own algorithm. So <laughs> going to the home page that you were seeing, on the top banner, there's two links help and more IEDD. Over on the left panel under welcome, I've starred where it says learn more. It's also linked to support features. So starting at the top, under the uh, help pull down, you'll see a link to support, providing help requests and providing feedback. Under uh, more IEDD, you see a link to the database export, which I'll get back to, and here's a link to the meta-analysis, which we'll just mention. Also, there's a link to citing the ID. So, extensively in your research, this gives you the uh, citation to use. Uh, starting with support, if I click on that, it will bring you to the Solution Center. So, this is a primary portal for all support and reference material. And just like the search interface is going, undergoing a transition from 2 to 3.0, all our help materials are also transitioning. So you'll see a mix of old and new here. Um, but there is some material on 3.0. Uh, there is a citation of uh, new features in it. If you continue to scroll down the page, um, you'll see last year's workshop webinars from 2013. But unfortunately, this is the, uh, the tools and analysis um, resources. And at the conclusion of this workshop, we'll post day one and day two uh, webinars from the workshop. So you can relive this again. <laughs> at the bottom of the page, you'll see this uh, user documentation. This is a complete description of the database, all the fields, how the searches are done. But again, it is for version two. And it will be um, a while before it's totally updated to version three. Going back to the top of the page, on the right hand side, you'll see this collection of um, knowledge base and forums, which has a number of topics in different categories. Here again, the link to meta analysis. Um, and here I clicked on tutorials and reference material and brought up these topics. Again, it's a mix of old and new. There's a, a description of the 3.0 browser and uh, some other 3.0 material. But there also is, again, the, the older material for 2.0. And I just want to point out while I'm here, there is a free text search box. So you can uh, type in a topic, and it will bring up related information that you might not see, obviously, in one of the categories. Okay, so just to reiterate, the scope of um, tutorials and materials we have are mostly what you see today. The screenshots with written tutorials uh, describing a single topic, like the ethnic types or the finders. And then, as I showed you, there is complete user documentation uh, for 2.0, and we'll have more 3.0 material added over time. For the analysis, analysis and prediction tools, tomorrow, 
each tool has its own examples of help on the tool page as you open it. And also, as I pointed out, in the Solution Center, the day two workshops from last year and this year uh, will be posted. Uh, we also have sample queries, much like what we just went through, like how do I generate a list of all proteins to which folks have been identified for an organism of interest. Uh, right now, these are written for 2.0. We will have um, this year's Game One webinars posted. And um, for these, since we do have to rewrite these questions, if you want a, um, a written protocol for questions that were just on here, uh, please put that down and we'll make those a high priority for you first. Of use to you. And then, as I, I, I mentioned, there is a free text box in the uh, knowledge base and forms to uh, type in something as they type, and it will bring up uh, materials that may give you more information on your on what you're looking for. Going back to the home page, as I mentioned over in the welcome panel, there's a uh, where to start. There's learn more. Click on this, and it will bring up a new page with more support material. A lot of this is you know, links to all links to the same thing as the solution center. So uh, the left panel here links to a lot of support features and and a question or an idea. Um, I should point out why I'm here on the bottom of, of almost every page there's links for providing feedback, help, and taking you back to the solution center. So in this um, middle panel, there's more information about the data. Um, under read about the data field, this will give you the data field description. So this will be helpful when you um, export your data and you have an Excel spreadsheet and every column with a different data field some more information about what that data field is, which would be a good place to look. Um, it, uh, for your question about the assay, I actually don't really have a good assay dictionary. There is a single sentence ontology OB that describes it. Um, but we have a mix of very specific assays and very general assays. So we have an assay called ethyl activation. So that will include the nine expression uh, IL2 production of or activation, well, it'll be really a broad range of that. Um, calcium is less than anything like that. So we don't have a good dictionary that says all the things that might be necessary. And then some assays are, are very specific. We have one uh, assay which is very specific. Um, so just write that down and then that's something that we work on adding to help. Um, see how the data is entered. We'll link to the inspiration manual. And these are the guidelines by which we curate. So we try to be consistent and curate and curator. And we're covering grossly different types of, uh, of research. We thought it would be a quite different. At the top of this page, we have our um, Yahoo News banner, which is a moving banner of, of the new features in the uh, database. On the, uh, Right hand side, we have the latest release notes. Uh, so, in addition to this major change in the database from 2 to 3.0, there are new releases every year. So, these are two to three releases every year of minor changes, um, new tools added, uh, new training of the prediction tools, um, bugs that are fixed, whatever changes there might be. And these are all documented, documented in the release notes. In addition, um, we've been told that we are continuing to curate the uh, current literature. So every week we do about 10 to 20 papers and upload it in batches once a week. And so that upload is documented in the lower right side. Going back to the Solution Center, um, you'll find the same link in the knowledge base and forum. So uh, here's a uh, link to the release notes. Here's a, a link to new and noteworthy, which I've opened up. So you can see uh, new features. There's a new tool that's been added. This will predict antibody structure, and Julia will talk about that tomorrow. There are links to the meta-analysis on the Ebola um, virus that, uh, that uh, Perry mentioned. And you'll also see uh, announcements of any uh, meetings or as well as announcement of um, 
our workshop. Okay, in the Solution Center, you may have noticed in the upper right-hand corner, there's a uh, login, sign up uh, link. This will bring up this page where you can provide your name and email, but that's not necessary to use any features of the database. You can search, you can use the tools, you can download the database without ever signing up. But what this does, it allows you to subscribe to any of these forums. So it's not all or none, you get to pick and choose if you want to subscribe to any. So um, here I've opened up the release notes, and if you're signed in, you'll get a little um, envelope icon showing up where if you click, you will be um, have a subscription to the release notes, so you'll be email whenever there is a new release. And this won't be numbers, and it'll be an email less than, less than a couple of a year or something. You see there's only 28 here posted for a number of years. Okay, uh, to submit a help request or a comment to us, there are multiple links all over the uh, web pages. And here in the Solution Center, there's a submit a request um, in the home page under help. There was a link for help request to provide feedback, the lower left. There is a link in that uh, welcome panel. There was a link for ask a question or submit an idea. And they will all bring up this page. So you can. Um, Put in your email, the topic, describe your problem uh, with the database. You can add an attachment, screenshot, um, any other information that might help us in answering your question. Or you can just use your own email and contact us at help at IEP.org. And usually uh, someone will get back to you within one day to start to address your question if uh, it needs more expertise pass on to uh, the person who deals with that subject. And um, if it's a bug, we'll just put it on our list and it will eventually get uh, addressed, we hope. And we'll keep you uh, posted. Is there a phone number? A phone number. Mm, well, if, if, you, if you email us first and it, it, it needs to have a direct conversation, we'll, we'll get in touch with you on any day. <laughs> So this whole journey has to lose. <laughs> well, we don't have an 800 number. Yeah. Well, we can hand out our business cards. Yeah. We, we, <laughs> you know, we do it for kids this far. Yeah. <laughs> no one's, it's never happened before. <laughs> Wait, we'll, we'll give you Bjorn and Alex's phone number. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm old school in this patient. No, no, I think I was thinking. I submitted several requests. They were answered almost immediately. Even last night, after 10 p.m. Lord. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lord answered the email. So, so if that's a concern, then please, I think. <laughs> I, I, you know, sometimes you want someone to, to be doing it with you at the same time. So Which we can solve. Yeah, one can initiate the problem. Yeah, we just have to set up the time. Yeah. yeah. We actually, we had, we did do a, 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 a conference call with a group once. Is it all part of it? I think that's all. And we have the WebEx. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We can set up yeah. the WebEx. Our, right. our goal is to respond to the Turn on the call, I think he wants real time. Well, I just wanted to do more of them. Yeah, yeah. You would like to give us a good name? Sure. I'm on the phone. I'd be happy to help you. You want me to find you? Colorado? I have a website. It's easy, then I will come in person. Yeah. Question only in one. We have talked about taking the workshop on the road. Okay, the last thing I'm going to talk about are your your options for exporting um, the database parts thereof or the whole thing. 
So you can download the full database in three formats, XML, MySQL, two versions, or the parts of the database in comma-separated values files, which each one of you have already done. And as I mentioned, we continue to upload data weekly, so if you need current data, make sure you're doing this on a regular basis. Find out more information about this, again, go back to the Solution Center, and under Developers page, if you open that up, you'll see a link to information on the XML MySQL CSV um, database supports. To actually get to the page to download, um, under the more IEDDB tab on the home page, there was a link that said uh, database export. And if you do that, it will bring up this page. This gives you your options for downloading the database in XML or the MySQL version. And down on the lower part are the comma separated values um, subset files. So you can see it's broken down into um, epitopes and the assay and source organism and references. And if you can uh, read this type, it says compact on the left side and full on the left, on the right side. Uh, expand on that in the next slide or so. So the CSV files um, contain subsets of the database. It's broken down into the epitopes, the peptide and the non-peptidic epitopes. The assays are broken down into three types, T cell, B cell, and MHC ligand. The latter one includes both binding and um, MHC elution. We have uh, source organisms as a subset and references. And these are downloaded into Excel or text editor, and they come as um, compressed files. So with the full download, you'll get all of the associated data fields, which is quite a lot for um, the assays. The, uh, the Epitope uh, only comes forward down just because there aren't that many fields. For the compact downloads, you'll just get the most relevant data fields, and these are predetermined. You don't get to select in advance. And as a, a brief example, uh, the references is pretty easy to uh, show you the fields here. In the compact version, you'll get the reference ID, PubMed ID, authors, the abstract, and journal, and year. And the full download will have additional information of all the author affiliations, the complete journal citation, mesh terms, and any other related material. So if you have questions about the download, especially the um, XML of MySQL, please be bored or join while you're here. Uh, but at any time, you can always, again, uh, contact us with the help request or email us at, at iedb.org, uh, and we'll get the right person to help you. I think that's that's it for this. Yeah. Um, you can get some questions. Oh, that's level. Um, are you going to do that in a separate uh, breakout? There, I, we could talk. Yeah, during the breakout session. Yeah, let's see. Have a general question. We'll have a specific. Uh, my, um, on some of the people see, see, and I'll have to. We don't know, but they may not be all the time. You know that I'm talking from public. So then you scan the sometimes. There are certain features that are you know dominant, but they may not be all the time. But then you ask, no, I think that you have many different types of activities that you don't know, think you own. Know, the other issues. And I think that this is not good the sequence, but the sequence of this, so you need to go back to the protein and identify the sequence. I think that I was going to say, if the general role of sequence is not the actual sequence, the technical sequence,
reference IDs and we'll look into it. If it's presented in certain fashions, like it's just presented in text or discussion, we won't necessarily capture it if, if the data is not somehow really shown. If it's just we tested this but it was negative and it was just wording, we might not capture it. Sometimes there's an issue with supplemental data. We capture supplemental data, but a lot of times the data is not formatted properly. And when you try to open the file, it will go to the website. Okay. I know there are cases we were unable to open so we have no idea what it was. This is a good reason. Yes. So, rarely, I think it's a good goes to have all that positive answer. Yeah, you, if you give us a reference to the United States, there we can get to the Okay, that, uh, it's time for, uh, for a break, and uh, when we come back from that, from the break, we'll have time for, um, you know, if you have any particular questions that the staff, the IDB staff can answer, this is the time for us to, to work with you. Um, and we should have about an hour and a half uh, to do that, and at 4.45, <clears throat> we'll have just a real brief uh, feedback session um, just to get your, you know, comments and thoughts as to what we've presented. Like we, like we said, we wanted uh, this to be a two-way um, exchange where we give you information, but we also get information back from you and as to uh, how we can better uh, the IDB. So let's take a break now. The webcast, um, we're going to conclude at this point. Um, I've sent everyone some information on the webcast, and we look forward to seeing or hearing you to, tomorrow. So thank you for those who've connected. And you can take a break. Yeah. How is that now?